I just got access to GPT search. I want to play around with it for a little bit and kind of show off what it can do. Uh, this is my first time trying it. For some background, I've been working for over a decade in buying Google ads. So uh, I'm in search every day, but most people are. So let's get into it. Uh, first off, uh, in terms of Google ads, I used to bid on terms related to nearshore software development. Now these keywords cost upwards of $1,000 when you click if you're bidding on them in Google, but let's see what it looks like compared to Google. So here it's giving just an overall review of what it means and we can see different sources for each of these. It's kind of interesting talking about cost savings. If I click on group technology, it's gonna bring me just to their page. It's not really highlighting anything about where it pulled this from exactly. As a comparison, we all know Google, but let's see what that shows. These days, Google shows ad, ad, ad. Then you got SEO right here, and then we can kind of go down the list. I mean, we're all pretty uh, familiar with this. So it's definitely a different kind of view when you're looking through uh, the lens of GPT. Let's try something else. Uh, if I want to purchase a, a USB-C hard drive, Okay, giving feedback, couple responses here. So I'm seeing a few different options. It shows kind of what's being offered here. T7, I actually just bought this T7. Uh, let's see what this looks like if I click on this image. So the image is really just showing me the image, that's it. I can kind of scroll through a few different options that brings us down here. You can see here, if we go back. So these are actually all the results we're going back and forth. Now, if we click on PC Mag, this is showing an article, best SSDs, and it kind of shows up here. But if I want to go ahead and purchase this hard drive, then it's not really as clear. There are sources here below, and I can click over here, and now I can actually see a few different options, but it's a little confusing when I'm just looking to purchase something. But let's go ahead and click to Amazon. And I'm seeing no sort of tracking URL or anything here. So it's just taking me right to the page, no commissions, no nothing. Uh, let's compare that again to Google. And we're all used to seeing this. We got Google Shopping, we got standard Google Ads, we got their AI as well, which kind of looks a bit similar, actually, if I go back and forth to ChatGPT right here. We can see it shows a few different options, but here, I actually think Google does a little bit of a better job with their AI summary, at least. I'm seeing Amazon prices, no prices here. If I click here, it shows me a few different options for buying. So I think Google wins when it comes to the e-commerce side of things. Let's try uh, some latest news. I was curious about the election coming up. So we got uh, 538 from New York Times. If I search for that, this has given me just a quick overview of what's going on with the 2024 forecast. If I click through to the link, it's giving me the source and here we can see the uh, details from the latest polling on 538. If I look on Google, we can see much more basic. We're not gonna see not even an AI summary from Google here and really just a standard uh, kind of background here, not showing any of the actual data behind the site itself. Here we can see some nice little data here. Uh, let's try one more thing in, in regards to, uh, how about some stock prices? One of my favorite tickers here. Let's see if it just knows based on that. There we go. So we're seeing a quick review of the stock pricing. We got a few bullets here in terms of what's going on behind the price. Now, of course, if I search this on Google, we've got, of course, a similar chart, some news stories. I think here, I actually like how ChatGPT is just giving me a quick background on quarterly performance developments, et cetera. So that's pretty interesting. And of course, it's gonna show sources below here. It's interesting actually, as I click away, it was keeping sources with each search. It kind of kept that up on the side. So if this stays up here, I can click on any of these to open a new tab. And let's see if, as I test that, let's try one more thing. So I wanna want do, um, I'm in the market for a new Apple TV. So if I click, if I search this, See on the right hand side, search results. So this kind of stays up in terms of the citations here, which is pretty interesting. Uh, they have not officially announced a release date. There we go. And we can see some ideas, some rumors, et cetera. And if I search on Google, 
we can see no AI summary for this one. And again, you kind of have to click in here and try to figure out, I mean, this is really, yeah, old stuff, talking about 2024, some Reddit posts, and again, ChatGPT uh, does a pretty good job of summarizing here. Uh, now, let me see if I just say, tell me more. This seems to understand that I'm still asking about the Apple TV, but it's actually giving the same results as before. So that's actually not super helpful. Uh, let me try one more thing. Uh, talking about healthcare. So if we're gonna search just an easy question here, open enrollments, they vary by coverage. There we go. That's actually a pretty nice answer right there, January 15th with some more details regarding a few different variables here. And as I search over here, yeah, I mean, pretty good there for Google's AI as well. I have almost like a little bit of a shorter summary really gets to the point, shows some sources, going back here, shows some sources. So, I mean, I think both Google's AI and ChatGPT's AI seem to show some strengths and weaknesses. I think strengths for ChatGPT gives pretty solid summaries and gives, gives sources pretty clearly. Sometimes gets a little bit too detailed, I might say. Meanwhile, I think Google does a better job when it comes to the e-commerce side of things. So that's just a quick review. I know we can be searching for a million things, but I wanted to just give a quick review there. Let me know what you guys think. What else would you be searching for to test this out? All right, thanks for watching.